hello so so i'm just trying to get comfortable and in position um if you watch uh, today my bujo yesterday you will know that i told you i'd ordered a few bits on amazon they're here they're here what film is that from name that film they're here okay dog so we are gonna open them and try them <laughs> online bearing in mind that i have not used these types of products i've used one i suppose you could say you'll know what i'm getting at as soon as i open it i'm just going to take this off camera so you guys don't see my address small isn't it funny let's get them both out and i have a box yay i bought a mini alphabet punch board i guess this is the size it makes which is lovely because i'm gonna put these on the front of a journal and I also bought a tab maker. I will use this slightly differently than how they want you to. Um, their idea is, is that you make a card like this and then cut the tab. I'm actually gonna make the tab and then cut the tab off so that I can stick it in my um, bullet journal. So, which do we play with first? <laughs> oh, well, I've got hold of this, so let's. slide it out but it doesn't look like it's going to play and I'm one of these kinds of people that I don't like destroying the packaging the other side came off all right what about this one isn't it funny these little foibles we all have I don't like destroying packaging and I keep packaging. I have loads, oh my God, there's a whole fucking book. I have loads of packaging over in the corner from stuff. That is so cute. Let's put that over there and I'll stick that in my journal so that I know what it is. Wow, look, it's so freaking tidy. Does this tell me how to make them? Okay, so let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, this tells you how to make each letter. The instruction app was designed for the original punch board. Those instructions will work for the mini alphabet punch board. You will need to start with a one and a half by two and a half inch piece of paper. Oh, okay. There's an app. Trim paper to 1.5 by 2.5 using a paper trimmer or the punch board. Oh, so you can even trim. Oh, that's quite clever. All oh, right. Does that, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, right. Well, I happen to have a piece of card here, so I want to trim it to one and a half by two and a half. Use this. <clears throat> now, bearing in mind, the only thing I've ever used is an envelope punch board, and it doesn't have these little quite frankly lethal looking blades hang on i'm gonna adjust my focus <laughs> so that you guys can see this i mean that looks fucking terrifying people there you go that is this is small and i am terrified i'm gonna lose this okay so I 
don't get how you I get that you put it in there. Do you just do it to, to there? Is that what you do? Oh, I see. Do you put that in there? Like so. Okay, let's turn it over then. Oops. So I've got several different See, I've just pinged that across the flipping desk. That's terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Okay, so I assume now that this is the size of my letter. Right, I, do, do I put that back in there? Will it stay in? Oh, so that's quite snug. Right, all right. <sighs> I see this is going to be a learning curve. Right. So let's, let's just check that this is now the right length, because that looks awfully large, doesn't it? So that is actually just over three inches. Am I supposed to put it there then? To bring it down. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Mom, I just need to play. Trim ball. paper to 1.5 by 2.5. Mom, I just need to play. Go, go and watch your film then. I just need to play. Okay, so it's 1.5. So is it 2.5 from there? To... Oh, okay, I get you. So what I do here is I line it up with that. I thought I pushed it down to the end, but you don't. You line it up with this groovy mark there. Then you push that down there and do that. So that should now be, she says, one and a half by two and a half inches. Yes. Okay. There is on this thing, again, I'm going to adjust the focus so you guys can see. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can actually see it. And my focus is a bit temperamental. So, right. Can you see, if I lift this up out of the way. There is a, a like a light groove line there. You put the edge of your paper there to score there. And that measured across is two and a half inches bang on. I'm not sure what this score line is for though, because when you put it in that way and score in line with that, that top one is one and a half so I don't know what these two score lines are for or what that mark there is okay well we'll learn that as we go we'll learn that as we go okay so let's make an S for Sam because why not uh, oh you can do numbers as well okay S Do you know, it doesn't actually tell you, it just gives you fucking pictures, which, you know, aren't very clear. Oh, right, okay. Well, they're not very clear if you're blind like me. So you get your your little piece of paper, and you put it in at the number two mark, all the way in, I assume. Well, mine's a little bit wonky, but... <coughs> And then you turn it over and you do the same. Oh my word. Then you put it in that way. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Mm. 
Right. So you put it in here, and then in the first two holes, you put your blade in here, and then slide it to the left. This is to make an S, don't forget. And then you do the same thing. Oh yeah, that's not bad, not bad. So you turn it and you do the same thing on the other side. Oh, this is ridiculously easy now, I see. It's just remembering to put that little lethal fucking blade away. Ah, then you put it in on the on the half inch. And cut the little the little tail off at the top and the bottom, like so. And then you round off the corners. Oh my, that is so easy. How do you do that? Hmm. Oh, there's a bit at the top. Oh, there's a bit there and I don't know what that bit's for and I'm not sure how well I'm getting this in ah it moved just as I was about to punch it if you have long nails this might be a little bit too fiddly for you I can see me having a lot of fun with this. So I'm gonna stick that in my journal later. I love it, that is fab. These are so stiff. I wonder what that top one's for then. Oh, it's to do the little thing in an R. The little bit where it go, goes down there. Oh, that's quite, oh, that's really clever. My only bugbear, there's nowhere to store this book on this punch board. I was watching um, the pocket punch. May May did a pocket punch video. It's hysterical because she completely fluffed it and <laughs> ended up starting again. And the cool thing about that was the, the little chart slid in the thing underneath. This doesn't have anywhere to go. So that, yeah, that would bug me a little bit. Should we make another one? Should we make an H to go with, or should we make a D for make a deep Daryl because deep Daryl would love that. Deep Daryl would be quite easy. Yeah, Daryl looks like it'd be well easy, a deep for Daryl. And I've got some white card. So let's start by cutting it down. So it goes, see if I can remember how to do this. So you go up to there. I gouged that a bit because I thought I could come back the other way but it doesn't look like you can so yeah I've fluffed that although if I do it I don't like this, this is too fiddly for somebody like me. Great long nails. Okay, right. 
sprinkle that bit off. Let's put that to there, and then I can do it like so. Right. So to do a D, you go in like that. Mine didn't quite reach, so it made a bit of a mess pulling it out. Hmm. It might just be the card, the kind of card I'm using, so I'll have to neaten that up a little bit. I don't know whether that was my fault on the not doing it properly or what. I wonder if the punch would uh, neaten it out for me. Not really. Mm, and I cut a little bit too far that way, but you know, it's that's okay. It's a learning curve There you go, so while well, that's not as neat as the other one That's fun. I like it. I'm going to make Stuff up with it later Oh, I have a phone call from Birmingham, but it's a scam. Hello? Hello? Yes, it was a scam. So that's that one. Like it, lots of fun going to have a, another play with that later because I've got my um, new journal to um, label up so I need to find some matching papers this is what I've covered it with so I need to find some matching papers so that I can write I love the size of the letters they're great absolutely fantastic that's more like it to destroy packaging. Right. Oh, does this one go across the top as well? Oh my God! You guys like, are seriously heavy on the old packaging. Now, I've had quite a few We Are Memory Keepers products. Well, I've got corner chompers and stuff. Now I've got these to play with. And so far, the only thing I've not been lucky with was my corner chomper. And I was talking to Wendy about this last night and she said, oh, I've never had any trouble. And I get that a lot, people telling me that they've never had any trouble. Um, the only thing I can think of was that I must have got a dud, which, you know, I swapped my chomper for one of these which again is a We Are Memory Keepers one. Um, and this has worked fine for me, but it doesn't do a huge range of, you know, I can't cut through a shitload of pages all at once. Um, I've also got one of these. This is the hole punch and eyelet setter. And I use this quite a lot, hole punch. Um, so I may have to buy a new corner chomper. Okay, so creating custom tabs, folders and planner dividers are now a breeze with the tab punch board. And that's it, that's this, this, this. a little bit of paper that for some reason is sellotaped closed. Actually, will this just peel off or will it fucking rip my paper? I bet you it'll rip my paper. Oh, so why do it like that? Why sellotape a piece of paper closed, you know? It's not going anywhere in the packaging, is it? Right. Left side tab, centre tab, and right side tab. 
Oh, okay. So I am gonna make it with a bit of this that I left, had left over. So I know you need this tab alignment bar. Does it matter which way in you put it? Yes, you've got to put it. All right, okay, so this is your tab alignment bar. Again, I'm gonna adjust the focus. See that? And it's sort of, the, the little notches are to one side. Now, apparently, when you place this in your unit, you've got, it's, it says side tabs and corner renders. Now, you place it in the side tab one, but you place it with the notches, the thing facing away from the notches, if that makes sense, yeah? And you push it in like that, from what I can see. This may not work with just a small piece of paper. I don't know. But then apparently you just put that in like that. And you go like that. Ooh. Now, you then get to choose. Oh, you take out your tab thing so that you can slide your bit of paper under it. And then also on here, it says S, M and L. And what you do is you line up this. I'm sorry it's so shaky because it's because I'm having to hold it up. So if you want a small tab, you line it up there. If you want a medium tab, you line it up to the next one. If you want a, a large tab, you line it up with this one. So I only want a small one just for the sake of, you know, how does it look? And then you do that. Now, this, you would cut this bit off normally i'm not going to do that because i don't want to do it that way <laughs> so i just want the tabs separately yeah because i use my own sort of um planner notebook and what i want to do let me show you oops i don't want to put an entire divider in here i just want the little bit of tab poking out like so so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the tab off. I just knocked Pinhead down. Look, he's not happy now. And Mary Poppins got knocked over with all the punching I was just doing. So she looks drunk. Mary Poppins. So, right. The only one that hasn't fallen over yet is Alice Cooper. So what you do is you lift this bit and you put it in there all lined up. Now, ordinarily what you do, again, you've got the little notchy thing with the lethal looking blade, although it's not sticking out anywhere near as much as it is on the alphabet one. There's a groove here. You put the circular bit in the groove and what you're supposed to do is put it in there and then cut that way to cut off this excess bit of paper, leaving you with your tab and the rest of your sheet. But as I only want the tab, I'm gonna go that way. And there you have a little tab that you can stick on. But what if, and that's quite handy actually, because I now know how big the little tabs are. What if, I hear you cry, you want one of those folded tabs so that you can glue either side of your bit of paper? Let's have a look. Well, I've got, I've got this from, um, this is out of my sprocket, and I firmly believe in using stuff like this. So let's try that. Is this gonna be wide enough to start off with? That will be wide enough. So what I reckon is, if we folded it, I don't really wanna fold it in half because then I will lose the rest of the bit of card and that always comes, oh, could score it, couldn't we? Hang on. So if you want it so that you aren't gonna waste, a, you know, an absolute ton of card, You could line the top up with the edge and then or you know almost to the top edge and then score it so that you can fold it and then you fold it. So let's try this. I must get into the habit of putting these things away. So you put your little divider in, 
like so. You would put your folded bit in right up to the to this ridge here and right across to this divider here. Then you punch. It's a bit harder on a folded one. But yes, look at that. You take out your little side tab and then you line it up that side push it all the way to the top and punch again so there we have it and then what you would do is you would put that under there like so So the only issue I have is that it didn't go all the way through, but near as damn it. And now you have a little foldy tab that you can put on your page, like so, however you want it, so that it'd be sticking out. What's that? That's really awesome. I love it. So you're probably wondering, well, what are these bits for? Let me show you. You pick up your little divider thingy, your little, little stopper, you put it in those two holes and then if you do want to do a full-on um, divider, a page divider like this, you put your corners in like so and it rounds your corners off nicely for you. So yeah, very nice too. Although it does seem to make a little doohickey. Yeah, oh, see, and I've just flung that across the room as well. Oh dear, hang on. It's because there's not a lot of room here. Did I put that in the wrong way? Hmm. It doesn't seem to make the corners as gorgeously neat as it should do for me. Unless I stuck that in the wrong way, it's the only thing I can think. Oh, I know why. It's because um, that little bit of paper wasn't long enough and when I stuck it in, it moved. That was why. So yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, hang on, let me show you on this. So you put it in and push it up. Bob, your uncle. You just have to be careful about how you do it if you're working on a small bit of paper but this will be handy for rounding off corners if i don't want to get my um little punch out that i've just shown you so there you go that's what it does it rounds off the corners so yeah i'm quite pleased with that this is what i wanted to do this is what i wanted to make now i could have bought a hand punch to do it but this one gives me the option to do three different sizes the hand punch um only makes large so do you want to see the three different sizes and should we do folded three different sizes hang on while i try and find some more scrap card i've got some i could just cut some up but i've, I know I've got a load of scrap hanging around somewhere because you know that's what we do isn't it we hoard our, ah, we hoard our supplies it's all the same color but you know what the hell okay so we know that if yeah what yeah some in the fridge if i wanted to fold i'm pretty sure it's about that that much space i've got to give yeah okay hand, handy hint for you if you want to make a folded tab get a standard cheapy cheapy ruler okay line up the edge of your paper with the long stems on your numbers you can do it on the inches side or the centimeter side so it doesn't matter line it up the edge of your paper like that with your numbers okay with the the bottoms of the lines on your on on the longer stems these stems on your inches yeah and then score down the ruler and that makes 
you a fold in the right place. So I'm going to line up those like so. Saves you measuring. And most rulers tend to be quite standard. So, you know, this is just a cheap little ship six inch ruler. It's not even a helix one or anything like that. Fold your tab in half. Right, I must remember to move my little tab thingy. Now, put it in, press, take that out, turn it over, put it in and line it up with the medium mark. Press again, <laughs> everything on my desk falls over when I do that. Press again. Did I just do that on the small again? I did, didn't I? Oh, for heaven's sake. No, I didn't. I did it on the medium. That's good. Right. Then you lift up this bit. Oh, it moved as I cut it. <gasps> That's frustrating. That is really frustrating. That's a bit annoying, but you know that was that was user error okay so that's a medium one so just to show you together the light blue is the small and the dark blue is the medium okay so we now need to make a large one i need another color really don't i let's have a look see what i've got um, let's have a load of yellow part oh let's package that off some packaging. This is really thick though. Let's try I've got some nice fancy silver here. Let's use that. <laughs> now so that's one side because we don't need that. So you get your ruler. These are, that's the only thing it all collects underneath. There's no little sort of slidey tray like there is on handheld punches. On a, on a punch board, they collect underneath. Now, I'm gonna score on the back of it so that I don't wreck the silver. Okay, that looks a bit wonky. Try that again. Okay, doke. Right, so bring your board in, put your little thingies there, slide it in and up, and punch. Remove your thingy. I suppose you could have that either way actually I mean I've been turning it so that the excess bit is pointing down I suppose you could have it the other way you just I means you can't see very well line it up with the large one and punch <sighs> so there's a little slither of paper left over okay so mm, this is where it might get a little bit messy I'm going to push it all the way up. Now I'm going to hold it simply because I don't want it to move and I'm working on a small bit of paper. There you are. So there you go. These are your three different sizes next to each other. I have got making sure they are all butted up together I've cut some a little bit higher than the others but that's just you know learning so there you go that's your different sizes which is quite good now you might be wondering what this bit's for and if you can see it there's grooves here this is for if you want to make center tabs in a piece of paper um, what it all depends on the measurement of your paper okay 
So, for example, I actually don't have a piece of paper I can show you. Um, let's see. So this bit of paper here is roughly, what are we, nearly six inches. Okay, this is it's just under. Oh, hang on, let's go that way. So yeah, say six inches, this bit, okay? So what you do is you, no, you don't, you don't use that bit. This is just for side tabs. You put in your piece of paper up to the light and then you've got small medium or large so if you want to do a small one and go up to it like that and you punch okay then you turn it around and then you you don't use this anymore you line it up to there okay so then you go up to small again and you punch and then what you would do this is if you want to make an actual tab folder type thing is you put it into place and you cut off your excess little bits you may have to move paper dependent on um, how big your you know there you go and that gives you your center tab they stick out quite a lot which is why i wouldn't do it like this um i i would do it folded so that i can at least bring it down a little bit i would to be perfectly honest i would probably bring it down and lose this bit so that in my journal because that's you know what i'm going to use it for it would probably stick out something like that just to show you the difference in how I would do it. But there you go, that's that's essentially how you use it. It is so easy. I don't didn't even really need this. And but then I did watch a video last night about it. So you know. Yeah. Again though, there's nowhere to store your little instruction sheet. And this would fit on the bottom. Okay, I realise you'd have to move it every time because you're you're this is where all your little cornery bits and crap and that come from when you when you use your corner punch but yeah there you go it could have gone in that way really it just yeah never mind oh well but it's it's so well made as well that when you do stick all this up you can the only thing that moves is the bar the blades don't fall out okay the little bit doesn't fall out because the holes are nice and tight i'd be interested to see how well this holds up after oh excuse me sort of several years of use you know would it would it um will these loosen from being removed repetitively i also want to know is can we buy replacement ones of these you know and and the same for the alphabet one or do you just buy a little blade and remove it somehow or hmm i guess i i need to ask we are memory keepers that i suppose you probably can one of you guys might know um that is sealed underneath so there is no way once this is put away that you're going to touch that blade okay which is which is awesome i think that is really really good um the alphabet one is the same that is sealed so you can't get in there it doesn't push all the way down so you're not butting your blade on the plastic as you put it in that it goes down so far and then that's it so what do i think oh i think these are fantastic little doohickeys and they're so small i mean no word of a lie i was expecting these to be bigger but they're not they're dinky which means that they can go in a little drawer somewhere and they'll be fine so yeah Yeah. What's that? That's a diva daryl for me. Is that a diva daryl for you? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, what's that one then? Mummy made this. S for Stuart. S for Stuart. That was for Stuart. Uh huh. So yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased. Um, um uh, no, don't touch that one. 
Touch no, I want. I want to keep this because I want to put it in my journal. I'm allowed to keep. You this. can keep the D for Daryl. Yeah. So, um, the only other thing is, you know, how well does it cut through paper? Because I used cardstock. So off you go. Hey, Mum, that's a wood on my floor. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Go on then. Go, go and watch your film. So mm -hmm. I'm quickly going to have a go at doing it through some paper. I'm going to put that there. Thank you very much. Can I have another tree? In a minute. Um, that's fine. What's in the book? Can you pick me up that little one down there? This one? Down there. That one. This that, no, that one. Which one? That one. This one? Yes, And I want to find something to use to go with my letters for later. Oh, that's pretty. I don't want to cut into any of these though. <laughs> it's always a way in it. Like that, but I don't think we'd see much of that. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to use that one. But I do have lots of paper pads. <laughs> Oh, black and white might look quite good, mightn't it? On a coloured. Oh yeah, some of these are lush. So let's do, because I want to label it August to September. So I'm going to, I am going to use that one, I think. So let's just have a look. I'm going to just do a quick letter with paper from a cheap paper pad. I can't remember where I got this. I think I might have got this in Poundland. It's a Craft Sensations one, okay? And it is literal, just paper. It is, um, it doesn't even tell you what GSM it is. Yeah, it doesn't even tell you what the weight is. It's just, it's just paper, guys. It's quite thin paper. Okay, so... We need to start off by cutting it down, don't we? So if I stuck it in there. Would that then, in theory, be in the right place to score? You know what, guys? That does. If you do it right, you're not going to waste any paper. That's brilliant. That is absolutely freaking brilliant. If you do... If you've got a big piece of paper like that, stick it in, cut along your long piece first, then move it so that it lines up with that line that I told you about there, and then do your uppy down a bit, and that gives you the right size piece of paper. Okay, so to do an A, I think I, I, think I can guess, because it would have to go, I reckon, it, on there or there I reckon it goes there what do you think I suspect most of this is probably intuitive it's there oh okay you do both sides okay so you go like that then you flip it over and go like that Then put it in there and carefully cut. Now 
Now do you round the corners off? See, I would round. No, you just round the top. Okay. So you put that corner in. Well, that cuts perfectly. So how does that look on, say, because you guys know I'm an A5 journalist, how will this look in my journal? Well, everything is gonna go flying off of there in a minute. The journal that I made with that cover is here. So I will get three letters across there easily, which is fab. And this does numbers as well, apparently, which I'm like, wow, that's awesome. So, you know, you could decoupage that quite nicely. I might just get some copy paper and just make each letter just so that I've got it for reference for when I'm planning stuff out. That's actually not a bad idea. I might do that. So there you go. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit rough on the edges, but like they say, if that is the case, just get some scissors. I mean, I'm putting that down to user error more than anything and just tidy it up slightly and Bob's your uncle, you know? So what size are these letters? Well, they are 38 mil millimetres across. That is roughly I don't normally work in inches, so bear with me. That's an inch and a half across. And then height is 63 millimetres, which is two and a half inches. So inch and a half by two and a half inches. Cuts really, really well on paper. Cuts well on card. I've got no complaints at all, but I'm really pleased how, that, how that's turned out. So I will be decoupaging my cover. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but I think that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to spend the day or tomorrow or something making paper letters just for reference and stick them in a little envelope somewhere. So, yeah, I've made a lovely mess all over the place. <laughs> so there you go. That's my two, um, my two little punch boards. I hope you found this somewhat informative. Um, I know I waffled a little bit, sorry. Um, just to reinforce your uh, your folds, all you need to do is just grab a bone folder and just burnish it like so. And then it it will be a lot easier to stick, and it makes just it just makes for a nicer a nicer fold. And you can do that on all of them. I mean, you can you can write on these before you stick them in. You can use a label maker. I mean, that's probably what I would do for this one because it's a shiny one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased. I'm quite pleased that I splurged yesterday and bought all this. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this somewhat informative. I know I burbled a little bit, but I was a bit excited. Um, if you've got any questions, anything you want me to have a go at with these um or anything else you think i you know well you enjoyed those sam you're gonna fucking love whatever then um you know leave me a comment down below and i will put it on my to buy list or my wish list and who knows somebody might actually buy it for me <sighs> one can hope um yeah so take it easy have a great day um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up even though i rambled and burbled at you um if oh leave us a comment down below because we like comments daryl likes comments he likes kisses so don't forget to leave kisses uh if you click the book you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell that appears after that and youtube's in a good mood you will be notified when i upload new content thanks so much for joining me today guys take it easy